Greetings all. Fanny here for Virgo's Daily Oracle Message. Okay, Virgo. Chunk came out for you right there. <laughs> Very Virgo card starting out here with the solitude. Of course, Virgo is the hermit in the Tarot's Major Arcana. An entire card about solitude going on the journey of the soul. Inside his lantern, he carries the star. And very similar to the education card here. Her book is glowing, very similar to the stars. So you, my Virgos, might be going on a journey of learning, of connecting, of healing. You have the magic stream in reverse, where you may feel like you are being cut off from things. But first of all, similar imagery. There's a heron in each of these cards. Now, I can't remember off the top of my head what the metaphysical meaning of a heron is. You could look that up if you wish. But they are a bird of prey. They are a water bird. Water is associated with your emotions. And with the magic stream in reverse and the solitude island being surrounded by water, and similar to the education card, she's sitting on stones by the water. Your emotions, Virgo. How are you processing your emotions? Are you allowing yourself to cry when you feel that need building up? Are you allowing yourself to speak your frustrations? And I'm not saying rant and rave about them and let them all build up again like that. I'm saying acknowledge them and let them go. Release that energy so it's not continuously hanging on inside of you. Because yes, it's important to notice when things are not quite right in your life. But dwelling on that and making that the forefront of all of your thoughts is not beneficial. So I would say in this moment, allowing yourself to feel your emotions, allowing them to come to the forefront, be released as they need to, whether that's drawing out a very emotional piece and crying over it, whether that's screaming into the void, whether that's taking a very long shower and playing blaring music, if it's okay to do that in your area. Whatever it is, it is so important that you feel your emotions because it will help, it will make you feel trapped. And if you're trapped in your emotions, you're not going to let anyone in. You're going to keep putting yourself on the defensive, keep putting yourself on the offensive sometimes if it even builds so far to where you feel the need to protect yourself. And I understand where that's coming from. I'm a Virgo moon. Moon is associated with your emotions. And constantly feeling like you're being attacked, speaking from my own experience, is not the way to live. Because you're going to second guess and doubt every person that comes into your life. You're not going to accept any positive compliments or admiration that you deserve because you don't think that you're worthy of it. Or you think that someone's making fun of you or joking. Or that someone's going to turn it around and hurt you. And this comes from a place of hurt. This comes from a place where it has happened to you in the past. But Spirit is encouraging you to come out of this. Thank you, Chi Chi, for coming through. Chi Chi is one of the members of my spirit team, personally. She was my grandmother's best friend. She actually passed away on my second birthday. And whenever I see a giraffe, it is Chi Chi because those were her favorite animals. So that is one way that I'm sharing with you how spirit speaks to me, is through the imagery of a giraffe. There's other imageries that they can speak to you through, and those are signs that your spirit team is watching over you, as they always are. They will send you little reminders like that, a little tap on your shoulder of something that, that someone used to do or you always associate with an ancestor, someone who has passed on and joined the other side. They're here to help guide you out of this darkness. They're here to help heal you from this hurt. Reaching the peaks of joy. I love how much the energy has changed from the blue, the dark, the gray of those top few cards to the bright, the orange, the fiery of the encouragement and the peaks of joy. Allowing yourself to feel happiness again. Allowing yourself to feel love again. You do deserve it. You are worthy of it. And it is yours to claim. Virgo, it is perfectly understandable to have all of those feelings. It's perfectly understandable to remember what you went through. And that's why you have the intention card here. 
is what you are doing with that energy now is what is important. Are you continuing to be a wounded animal and kick yourself while you're down because of something that happened to you before? Because that situation isn't hurting you anymore. You're the only one hanging on to it, allowing you, allowing it to continue to make you feel afraid, allowing it to continue to make you feel small. And when you, so when you have the intention of healing, when you have the intention of releasing, of learning how to let go, those emotions no longer have an influence on you because you've taken your power back away from them. You've taken your power back away from the trauma. And that is what the first step to healing is looking at the emotion, putting a name to it, putting a name to the source of it and what initially caused it or whatever name you need to apply to it and state that you are taking your power back. Your words mean so much, especially when you speak them over yourself with the intention of healing. Intention is the basis of all energy work. What are you trying to do with what you are working here? If you're trying to heal yourself, if you're trying to inspire yourself, if you're trying to protect yourself, whatever it is, speak with true positive and clear intention. Do not use words that could be misconstrued. Do not use words with negative connotations. Be careful about how you're speaking over yourself because that is your recipe. That is your wish list to spirit and they will give you exactly what you have asked for. And I also want you to remember that rejection is divine protection. So if there has been people that when you try to open up to them, they did not approve of you, they pushed you away, or even pushed you out of their life entirely, there are good reasons for that. Sometimes the people we want are not for our best, and spirit will protect us from ourselves even, because we make stupid decisions sometimes. Rejection is divine protection. Keep going, keep growing, keep learning, and keep experiencing and living your life because there is a reason you're here, my love. Allow yourself to feel through all of your emotions to become the next most powerful and amazing version of who you already are. Have a beautiful day, Virgo.